Okay, I'm back. I got to like level, f I, I put him to like level 47. So maybe, it, and I looked up a little bit and the recommended leveling was 46. So maybe we can like get through this with this, but you never know. We might get fucking washed and this is all my stats right now. So I might actually go Ember in this fight over Sharp. We'll see. We'll, we have plenty of chances. We can just save right there, quit, and, you know, use different party members and stuff and like test it out. So let's go. I like October here. Um, Dacre last. Let's go Ember. Let's go Sh. Let's go Umi. Let's go Dacre. And then let's save and let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Powerful full attacks. Full. Powerful full attacks. Okay. And we have, I mean, this is pretty decent. Our agility is not like crazy. Uh, and our problem is our hit points are very low. So let's do call crack and maybe that'll help here. Maybe do that, and then maybe do regen all. Okay. Okay, that's, I mean, that's better than last time. <laughs> that's better than last time. I will take it. Let's actually, in, let's do it. Let's insane all of them. It's heaven and hell. Reduces resist to holy and dark. Hmm. I haven't used them a whole lot, so. Um. Let's see. Let's actually heal Cthulhu. Do hero him, maybe? Okay. They took no damage though. <laughs> they took no damage. Let's see. Let's do tentacles. Let's do smash. Actually, Archer's soul. I mean, do that to him. Magic. Daker is the slowest, so let's just. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. We might be able to take him out. It's possible we can take him out if we're smart here. Salt, maybe heal all. She's faster though. Um, um, there we go. Okay. shit we got rid of him okay so the next one we need to get rid of gotta be this guy right gotta be this uh, the soul caster I mean you'd think right I mean let's I mean I want to go all in on this dude and let's heal all here and they're gonna hit hard no matter what but that's okay that's okay. He went down hard. Okay. Like hard, hard. Do a dark strike. Let's do smash. Looks like tech him here. Oh no, okay. That's fine. 
Let's go him. Okay. And just do potion to Cthulhu. Magic. Speed. Let's... Oh, Ember just got wrecked. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's actually totally fine. I think we're... I think we're good right now. I actually think we're great, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we're great. <laughs> yeah, this one's over. This one's over. We win. We're going to win, like, no doubt. We're back. actually going to win right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe not right here. We are going to win very soon, though. <laughs> Dark Strike, Smash. Let's just lower his speed even more. <laughs> just heal everybody. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeeze. We just got 439,000 experience and 200,000 gold. Ho, ho, ho. We beat the super bosses. We beat the super bosses. So we've beaten... We've got through, we've done everything in the game. We've done everything in the game now. Cthulhu's now level 48. That was way too easy, though. So, level 49, easy. Level 50, easy. Just keep bumping up. Bonk, 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 bonk. I think we're fine with the, the... <laughs> yeah, we're totally cool with all the, all our HP and MP, though. We're just gonna keep going with all this. You've defeated the powerful foe. Everyone's stats go up 50 points. Yeah, no fucking. Like, there's n Yeah, we just... Yeah, this one's easy. This one's gonna be easy. So... Teleport to Innsmouth. Get out of here. Don't know why I teleported to Innsmouth. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Ha ha ha. Never mind. Huh. Probably would have been smart to, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> this is it. This is our final battle, baby. I think. This this feels very in-gamey, so, you know. Oh, wait, let's just save there, too. This feels very in-gamey to me. Oh, my God. He looks insane, and I love it. Azathoth. Oh, Azathoth, not Azazoth. I'm so stupid. It's Azathoth. I'm sorry. I am the one who knows the vastness of space. I was there when you crawled out of the ocean for the first time, an old one in embryo. Your power is not compared to mine. Now die for your insolence. Azathoth approaches. Round one begins. Okay. Hey, Azathoth, you're about to get fucked up. I'm sorry. I feel bad. That you're about to get fucked up this bad. But you're about to get fucked up, sir. Yeah, sorry, bud. You're about to get fucking annihilated. I don't want to be that guy, but... Yeah, you're about to get fucking annihilated. <laughs> yeah, tentacles, right? Yeah, tentacles... Oh, yeah, sir. Oh, my God. Fucking killed my ass. So, his one of his techniques are, is definitely just take out. Easy. Done. Done. We beat the game. We've beaten Cthulhu Saves the World. Cthulhu has saved the world, maybe. But you know what? Let's, let's hold off on that for a second. Level 52. Level 52. Level 52. Everyone's level 52 now. Boom, baby. You have done the unthinkable. You have slain Azathoth. Cthulhu has saved the world. Which world? All of them. The last Relayan is in captivity. The world is at peace. Many months pass. And now behold the dawn of a new day. The final day. Goodbye. I'll never forget all of you. It is time to go. Cthulhu begins to board the newly repaired spaceship. 
Behind him, a lovely maiden silently weeps. Cthulhu turns back and stretches out his hand. Come with me, Umi. The end. Congratulations on completing Cthulhu Saves the World. Be sure to save your game and your records in the Necronomicon. Save my victory! Yay! Be sure to try out the unlocked bonus modes. What's the unlocked bonus mode? What's my Necronomicon? Masters of, Master of Normal, no, Normal Mode, Vagrature of Dam, Champion of Level 52, Winner of 0 points in Score Attack, has not completed the Highlander Mode, Hoarder of 1,613,442 gold. Bromide, view the character bromi Bromides you've unlocked. What? Bestiary, let's look at the large bestiaries. Ninja Spirit. Oh man, dude, he was a dick for some reason. Evil Bridge? I don't even remember fighting Evil Bridge. Dark Umi? Like that time Santa got mad and tried to kill you. Mother Hydra? Sarah? Kraken? Dark Dragon? This is nice. Uh, Options. So what, are, oh, bonus modes. What's insane? You would have to be insane to choose a difficulty for the one who has walked into the darkness and returned. Monsters are more poor, poor power, more powerful. I said poor powerful. MP recovery is reduced for frail in body and mind. Monsters are weaker, MP recovery is increased. For the intrepid adventure, not too hard, not too easy. Let's look at the bonus modes. Replay value joy includes Cthulhu's angel, score attack, Highlander, and overkill mode. What's Cthulhu's angels? Cthulhu's too lazy to become a hero himself, so he talks October into doing his heroics form. New dialogue, characters, and more. <gasps> Earn points by defeating bosses while underleveled. Can only use one character at a time. Experience gain drastically increased. Level up to level 40. Level up to level one, level 40 in a single battle. Perfect for messing around or reliving the story. What's Cthulhu's angels? <gasps> what? Wait. Find question marks to learn more about the creation of the game. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? Hold on. That's kind of cool. Let's look at Cthulhu's Angels right kick. Right, right kick. October was a necromancer. This wasn't my choice, mind you. Her parents had been necromancers, their parents had been necromancers, and she was pretty sure that their parents had been necromancers as well. October learned her spells and incantations like a dutiful child, but her heart wasn't into it. She had no desires to raise the dead and terrorize the living. She just wanted a quiet life doing what she thought was right. Of course, no one believed her. As soon as people discovered that she was a necromancer, they would scorn and fear her. Whenever misfortune befell someone in town, October would be the one who was blamed. Though October moved from place to place in hopes of escaping her heritage, eventually, she would be found out and forced to move once more to escape persecution. When October was feeling especially down, she would go to the beach and gaze at the endless waves. Here, there was no pain. Here, there was no fear. Just the rhythmic melodies of nature. It was during one of these beach reveries that October discovered a device that would change her life forever. What is that strange disc lying there on the beach? October has gained the Holographic Communicator Device, or HCD for short. When October picked up the HCD, a holographic image of Cthulhu appeared before her. Eep! A holographic image of Cthulhu has appeared before me! <laughs> Fear not, child! I am indeed the Dark Lord Cthulhu, but I have turned over a new leaf. I wish to save the world now, not destroy it. Okay-ish. Yes. I wish to save the world. Unfortunately, my power has been drained away, so I'll need your help. Will you be my emissary of heroics to the world? Will you save the world on my behalf? People think I'm evil just because I'm a necromancer. Just like they think that you're evil just because you're a hideous octopus demon man who drives people insane with your presence. They're wrong about me, and so they must be wrong about you. Yes, I will become a hero on your behalf and prove to the world that they shouldn't judge us books by our covers. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, thank you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Legend of Zelda reference, that's life. You get 25 gold. Thanks, but that's not even enough to buy a cheap weapon. Much less save the world. Curse you, inflation! 
since the sum of my treasury is insufficient, you must find allies to join you on your righteous quest. But make sure the allies you recruit are all hot chicks. Otherwise, I won't be able to call you my angels. That's a bizarre and sexist request, but I'll do my best. Hark, my Cthulhu sense is tingling. There's a hot chick in the vicinity. Find her and convince her to join our quest. So this is just three one-ups. So this is just, this is just with October? That's cute. So we gotta save Umi? That woman is being attacked by monsters. From the look of her attire, she's a healer, which means she probably can't win a battle by herself. I must save her. Fireball. Already got fireball. October's level two. Oh, what? It's Alona Lena, dude. Thank you for rescuing me. I was exploring these beach caves with my companions when I got separated from them. I hesitate to think of what would have become of me if you hadn't shown up. Don't mention it. Hey, I know it sounds crazy and all, but would you like to join my quest to save the world on behalf of Cthulhu? I know he's got a bad rap and all, but he's actually a nice guy. Uh, squid now. <laughs> Don't be absurd. Cthulhu is the pure embodiment of chaos. I couldn't possibly work for him. And I guess I'll just leave you here to be eaten by other slime monsters. Eep. Don't take this the wrong way. But can I join up with you for a bit anyway? Just until I find my old companions, of course. I suppose I just can't I can't just leave you here by yourself. Okay. But I hope you change your mind about Cthulhu. Alona Lena tries to join your party, but her name is too long to fit in the status box. What just happened? <laughs> you must be using one of those horrid little retro RPG engines. Not me. Nothing but the best in 3D polygon rendering technology for this sexy body. But I suppose if I'm going to receive your help, I'll have to, I'll have to make do. You can use my nickname, Elona. Elona Lina becomes Elona. Elona joins your party. Since my companions aren't here on the beach, they must be somewhere further up in the caves or on the cliffs. Let's go. Okay. Well, I'm probably not going to play through this, but that's actually kind of cool. I kind of dig that. You get to play as October and everything. We save that there. That's cool. We can continue. Yeah, we just saved over our, our file there. That's fine. We beat the game. We're happy. You know, we did the thing. We got bonuses. You know, we got all this stuff. Bonus modes. It's cool. This is a cool game. I'm fucking... I'm so happy that I beat this, actually. It was a, it was a good game. It was fun. Great time. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I, I will be back for Breath of Death 7 or Cosmic Star Heroines. One of those is coming next. So just be prepared and probably stray. I'm not, I, I think I'm going to play stray as well. So get ready for stray also, which is the kitty cat game that came out a couple days ago, I think. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy these, uh, these stupid Cthulhu games. They're fucking, they're not stupid. They're actually very fun. They're nice throwback RPGs. They're short and they're easy to, they're, you know, they're easy to like pick up and play for a couple hours and you know know you're making like a lot of progress instead of like the super long jrpgs that kind of like start weighing you down a little bit it does get a little stressful for me when i'm playing like these jrpgs that just take so long to get through but yeah that'll be it uh peace out have a great day or night wherever you are bye